it just takes ages, absolutely ages. What's going on guys, it's your boy The Beast of Ecom and I am back with another video dropping nothing but value bombs. If this is the first time ever watching one of my videos, hello and welcome. If you're into e-commerce, you're into Shopify, you're into dropshipping, you are in the right place. So make sure you do like, comment and of course smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well because you do not want to miss any of the upcoming content that I've got to put out. Now, no doubt if you're doing drop shipping, a lot of people source products from AliExpress. Now, AliExpress is great, okay? It's a fantastic place to source products. But the only problem is sometimes it can take literally ages for the product to reach the customer. As humans, of course, we became accustomed to getting things and wanting things like that. Amazon now offer Prime, which means people can get their stuff literally next day. So why on earth were they gonna wait for a product that takes, you know, sometimes 30 days to get to their door? So what I wanna talk about in this video is how you can solve the long AliExpress shipping times. I still get a lot of questions to this day, and I personally had these questions when I first got started, is why on earth is a customer gonna wait this long? You know, why when they can literally just do an Amazon search and find near enough the same product or a product like that and get it in, you know, a day's time or two days time? Why on earth are they gonna wait 30 days? Well, the truth is customers will wait, but you have to get a few things done correctly for them to be able to trust you as a business and of course wait that period of time. I'm also going to show you how you can move away from AliExpress so make sure you watch to the end, watch all of the video to get the maximum value. So let's quit the talking, let's jump into the video and let's get on with things. Right so let's jump into this on how to solve slow AliExpress shipping times if you're doing Shopify and dropshipping. Now the first point is the most pretty much the most important, okay? Now, you have to be upfront and set expectations for your customers. Now, again, it goes without saying, but I see a lot of stores not doing this first point, which is gonna end pretty badly if you don't do this thing correctly, okay? You have to be upfront and set expectations for your customers. So what I mean by that is, of course, stating the times that it may take for the product to reach the customer on your product page, on your confirmation emails, on your shipping emails, on your, uh, your FAQs page, and on your, uh, your shipping policy page as well. Now, if you haven't got those pages on your store, make sure you create them and, uh, and put the information in there. Now, like I mentioned, I see a load of stores who don't actually state how long, or it's very hard to find, you know, how long a product will take to reach the customer. You know, if you're doing this, you know, you're gonna end, it's gonna end badly, because what is gonna happen is you're gonna get a load of customers who are not happy, you're gonna load of bad feedback, and uh, now, of course, what Facebook are doing is they're penalizing people who get load of bad feedback. So, you know, if you're just, um, you know, completely ignoring or being oblivious to how long it takes, you know, if you are shipping, of course, from AliExpress um, and not setting those expectations for your customers, you know, your ad account is going to be in, in trouble. OK, so, um, you know, and it's not worth the refunds, not worth the hassle and stuff like that. So be up front, OK, and set expectations from your customers. So on your product page, whether you put, you know, it's gonna take one to four weeks or, uh, you know, 30 days or 25 business days, 20 bit, however you wanna phrase it, okay, make sure it's on all of these uh, places so that you set any exp expectation for your customers right from the off. Now, with saying that, of course, there's some products, there's some customers, sorry, that won't read this anyway they won't read any of these pages because you got to remember a lot of the time when you're selling these products they're impulse buys because people don't go to facebook to buy stuff it's very much impulse buy so they'll see the pictures and they'll just click buy and everything else they'll just completely ignore but at least you're covering yourself okay which is the most important part because if customers do say you know i didn't know this you can say look it's stated in five different places okay that's how long it takes you know um so yeah, as long as you're just covering yourself and making that um, expectation for your customer from the off. Now, <clears throat> second point, of course, is 
have your VA or, or uh, yeah, ha have your VAs handle your customer service properly. Now, if you're outsourcing, that's what you want to be doing. You know, if you're if you're not making many sales, then you can do this yourself. Um, but ideally, of course, when you start scaling up and making sales, what you want to do is hire a VA. Um, and outsource your customer service so that they can dedicate, you know, their, you know, eight hours a day just to handling customer queries, questions, uh, following up with tracking, whatever it may be, and all those sorts of things. Um, so that's what you want to be doing is hiring a VA. Again, like I said, if you're not making your first sales or you're making one or two sales and stuff like that, you can do this yourself. But you want to be on the ball, okay? You know, if customers, ideally, you want to be getting back to customers within 24 hours, um, 48 hours, whatever it may be, but you want to be making sure that it is, um, you know, bang on and you're following up with customers, their queries, um, ASAP, basically. Again, it goes the same without PayPal disputes as well. Any disputes that you get in, um, you know, handling those in another, in another one of my videos, I talked about the hold that I had on PayPal. Um, so yeah, I had my VA and stuff like that, make sure that they're, Answering queries, following up with tracking and stuff like that with uh, with customers, you know, ASAP within 24 hours, 48 hours, so that so that you know customers aren't getting upset or left completely in the dark. Okay, very bad business. Um, <clears throat> Always ship e-packet where possible. Now, um, of course, you know, not every single country accepts e-packet, but what you want to be doing is always making sure it doesn't have to be e-packet, but as long as it's a, a shipping method, which is trackable from uh, wherever it may be, if you're doing AliExpress, in this case, from China, um, you know, to the customer's country, it's trackable throughout the whole way. Okay, so when it lands in the country, it's trackable. When it leaves China, it's trackable. You know, that's what you want to be um, be shipping. And ePacket offers that um, offers that service. So whether it be ePacket, whether it be another one that's on there, but always make sure that it is a trackable source. You know, from um, from X China all the way to Y, the customer's front door. Um, moving on, what you want to do, of course, is give customers their tracking number uh, and create a page on your website so that people can track the order. OK, so what you want to be doing, of course, is when you're shipping out your dis dispute, um, dispatch emails, putting the tracking number in there. There's all sorts of apps for you to be able to, to do this, um, you know, automatically if you're doing numbers and stuff like that, you know, high, high volume. But, um, you know, you want to be giving their customer numbers the tracking number, which is, you know, it shows proof of something being sent. OK. And, you know, when they get it, they can track it as they go on, which always uh, is always better than just leaving people in the dark, you know, not having nothing to track and just hoping and wishing that it lands on their front door. So what you want to be doing, of course, is giving customers their tracking number and create a page on your website as well to track their order. Now, you can do this really simple. Just create a page and you can go on to 17.17track.net, um, 17 which is a website. Um, it tracks uh, e-packet from the source right into uh, the country's the, the customer's country and people can follow along and you can embed the actual tracking thing, the actual tracking website. Um, so go on to 17.net and just embed that, create a page on your website and, you know, any customer queries, just say here you can track your, uh, track your order on our website, give them their tracking details, they can put it in and they can track the product themselves, okay? Now, another point is you want to give reason for long shipping times. Now, like I said, people will be willing to wait for their product, okay? But there are certain things that you have to get right, which is what I'm covering right about now. And one of the things is giving people, if people do ask for, uh, you know, a reason for long shipping times, um, they're only going to wait if the product itself is unique, okay, or solves a problem, which is super important. OK, and something which is not usually that they'd find in just Walmart or, you know, any sort of high street. But giving reasons for long shipping times is, is also an idea as well to help with the, uh, the slow shipping time. So basically the item comes directly from the manufacturer so that they the customer themselves get the best price, which is typically correct because you are all you are always pretty much undercutting the high street who have to buy in bulk, um, you know, incur loads of different logistic costs. You're sending a product from the manufacturer, so you can say basically it comes from our manufacturer. So uh, you know we're passing the savings on to yourself. Again, this is a job for your VA um, or yourself if you are doing it as well. So give them a reason for long shipping times. But again, people are willing to wait 
if the product is uh, again super unique to a passionate audience or uh, you know the product solves a problem to uh, yeah solves a problem for the customer you know and provides that solution um, so moving on sell products like I've just mentioned that people are willing to wait for I've literally just covered this point a moment ago super unique to a passionate audience uh, and a product that solves a problem for the customer so you know I've already been over that um, of course give refunds if the product does not turn up after uh, you know whatever stated time it is and what you can do is always claim that back if you're using Aliexpress um, what you can do is, is open up a dispute um, you know with Aliexpress to say the products never reached the customer or whatever it may be and you can claim it back um, you're still gonna lose your advertising cost which you know you can't do anything about that but always give refunds you know don't steal customers money and stuff like that if the product doesn't arrive give someone a refund and claim it back off your uh, off your supplier okay and finally of course this is the goal this is where you need to be aiming for okay if you're doing e-commerce if you're doing drop shipping uh, this is where you want to be okay you want to be moving away from Aliexpress 100% Aliexpress is cool to test products and all those sorts of things but ideally where you want to end up is moving away from Aliexpress uh, at this point this is where I'm at the moment Tom so this is where you want to be in this place okay is moving away from uh, Aliexpress and of course you want to be developing a relationship with your supplier and moving away from Aliexpress so um, you know getting it at a better price okay first and foremost and um, you know if you're doing a lot of volume send this stuff via Excel or CSV so that they can ship within 24 hours because you got to remember with Aliexpress what happens is um, there's the verification process and that shipping time delay as well so when you place the order what happens is um, there's a verification of 24 hours I think it is and then there's the time delay between the person between the supplier who um, gets the order to then ship so there's a processing time they call it so if you can develop a relationship with the supplier and take things away from Aliexpress which means that they can just literally ship within 24 hours you know you send them their orders you send them the orders for the day they then um, you know can send stuff straight away you know and then you know it, it product customers get their product a lot quicker makes it easier makes um, you know things a lot more slicker than the Aliexpress process but sometimes you can't get away can't get around it but this is where you want to be in this place now of course you can buy in bulk as well this is where you want to be if you've got a winner buying in bulk and uh, and store it in a local fulfillment um, center now there's loads of different ones out there just do a Google search for your city wherever it may be uh, buy it in bulk uh, from Alibaba it's not really it's not realistically going to be Aliexpress but um, you know buy something in bulk the actual product from Alibaba 500 units whatever it may be then get it sent to a local fulfillment center um, and, and get it shipped from there now of course what's going to happen is when you do that customers are going to get um, their products a lot quicker and a lot faster um, second of all, thirdly, sorry, what you can do is use websites to find local suppliers. Now, eBay is fantastic. Your local eBay, um, you know, Amazon as well, uh, and obviously, of course, just doing a Google search and finding the actual product itself. Reaching out to eBay suppliers because they've already done the bulk buy if they're local to say, you know, can you supply me with X amount? That can always work. And Amazon as well is also a option. Now, of course, prices are going to be a little bit higher. Um, but shipping times are a lot lot faster which equals you know less disputes and less chances of stuff going missing which of course in turn means less refunds so it will always of course equal itself out but this is where you ideally need to be um, when you're scaling when you um, you know when you're building your business whether it be drop shipping or whatever it may be um, this is where you want to move to the point where you're moving away from Aliexpress but like I said Aliexpress is fantastic for testing products um, you know and getting to a point where you know you then want to move away from um, from using Aliexpress as always I hope you got some value if you did please please do like comment smash the subscribe button and of course hit the notification bell as well so you stay up to date with my latest content drop shipping from aliexpress isn't a bad thing and remember aliexpress is just one place there are loads of different websites out there um you know 
suppliers and stuff like that that you can move away from aliexpress because you got to remember it this way everyone will be fishing from the same pond eg aliexpress so the quicker you can move away from aliexpress whether it be a relationship with your supplier other websites uh, such as ebay or a local supplier or fulfillment center generally the better for your business and for your customers so that is it for this video hit me up on instagram drop me a like drop me a follow drop me a dm and let's connect on there so until next time i will see you later bringing you nothing but value bombs take care yeah.